Today I'll show you how to play this song Adat and this song is really nice to learn on an acoustic guitar and because you will learn some cool rhythm techniques here and this one is mostly for the intermediate players and the ones who are playing for some time because you need to hold some bar chords here and I'll show you some tips and tricks of changing a bar chord okay so let's get started so the song is in the key of C sub minor and the chords used in the song are a C sub minor a B major and an A major okay only three chords are used in this song and the main part of the song is the rhythm part okay which I will show you in a moment and first of all we will learn the intro which goes like this Now let's have a closer look of how to play this intro. The intro is basically an arpeggio pattern on C sub minor. Okay. First of all, we are holding a C sub minor and lifting our middle finger. This becomes a C sub suspended two. Okay. And if you want, you can place your middle finger on your index finger just to support the bar. So that it will be easier for you to uh, place the bar here. And now the arpeggio pattern is like this: five, four, three, four. Okay. First part 5, 4, 3, 4, then 2, 3, 4, 4 times. Okay, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4. Again, repeat this twice. Again, from the starting 5, 4, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4, 2, 3, 4. Once again, second time. 5 4 3 4 2 3 4 2 3 4 2 3 4 2 3 4 and in, in the third time just uh, bring your middle finger in its position and hold a C sharp minor chord and play the same uh, arpeggio pattern again but, the but this time play it only once again lift it and play the first part twice In this part the alap uh, will be going on play it three or four times okay now after this uh, the next part comes which is like this okay now let's have a closer look how to play this part so before learning this part let us first take a look at this strumming pattern of this song which goes like this down up down up down up down up down down up really simple once again down up down up down up down up down down up just hold the C sub minor and play the strumming pattern like this down up down up down up down up down down up In the first part, uh, what we are doing, we are doing something like this. Str the strumming pattern will remain the same, and it goes like this. What we are doing, we are just uh, in the first half of the strumming pattern, we are just lifting our middle finger. Okay, C sharp suspended two, as I have told you before, and we are playing like this: down, up, down, up, and during this next down part will we are bringing the middle finger back and playing down up down up down then again down and the next last up we are lifting it again up one thing really slowly down up down up down up down up down down up okay one second down up down up down up down up down down up what we are doing we are basically dividing this strumming pattern into two parts okay like this First up will be like this down up down up the next up is down up down up down down then the last up just lift the middle finger again up okay the second part of this uh, intro will be played on a a minor a seventh chord which is like this after holding a c sub minor just bring your little finger on the fourth string seventh fret okay then bring your ring finger down on the third string sixth fret and your middle finger is as it is on second string 
फिफ्थ फ्रेड एंड फर्स्ट स्ट्रिंग फोर्थ फ्रेड ओके एंड प्ले फ्रॉम द फोर्थ स्ट्रिंग ईयर दिस इज ए सेवेंथ कॉर्ड एंड द मिडल फिंगर विल बी सेम अगेन बिफोर मीन्स जस्ट लिफ्ट इट ऑन द फर्स्ट हाफ एंड जस्ट ब्रिंग इट डाउन ऑन द सेकेंड हाफ लाइक दिस डाउन अप डाउन अप डाउन the important thing here is to change from a c sub minor to a a7 okay what you can do you can practice something like this just play four down strums on c sub minor 2 3 4 then change it to a a7 just i have told you now 3 4 again 1 2 3 do it slowly 1 2 3 again 1 2 3 4 1 2 okay after playing this then then you can try the rhythm also like this another important thing here is to add a muting effect in this strumming pattern uh, before we are playing like this down up down up down just a simple strumming down up down up down up down up down down up after adding the muting effect it will sound something like this now let's check it out how to do the muting effect so the basic idea here is to just play the strumming as it is and lift your finger or just re release your grip at some points okay like this down Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So what I am doing here is I am playing the first two down up. Then on the next two down up, I am just releasing my grip. So that the strings are all dead. Like this, down, up. Then in the last part, it will be down. Then two dead, down up. Once again, down, up, mute. Down, up, mute. Down, mute. One second, really slowly. Down, up, down, up. Here you can see I am just releasing my grip here. Okay, like this. If you play this whole part a little faster, it will sound something like this. The trick here is to synchronize the release. Okay. So now what you can do is you can add the same muting effect in the starting intro of this song, which goes like this. Before we did did it like this: down, up, down, up, down. Simple one. But now, after learning the muting effect, you can just add that effect in this part also, like. this one is really difficult to play but you just take it slowly first learn each part individually then add them up means first learn this one first learn the strumming then learn this one down up down up down simple then learn the muting effect then just add them up take your time it will take some time okay now let's check the next part of this song Okay after playing the intro once a second guitar comes into play okay you are playing the intro like this on one guitar and on the background another guitar guitar plays something like this okay what we are doing we are playing from a uh for playing from second string second fret then open second string again second string second fret then open first string then again second string second fret open second string taps are there you can follow it easily okay one second the first part play it twice then the third part just bring your index finger on third string second fret keep it there and play 
three two three one three two then an up strum on the first second and third string like this again the second part three two three one three two so only three chords are used in this song as i have told you before and it will start from a c sub minor and you can use the same strumming and muting effect in the song also like this it will go something like this dure jitna bhi tum mujhse paas tere main ab to aadat se hai mujhko aise jeene mein i'll give a detail uh, progression of this song in the description box okay do check it out but here i will show you how to change from a c sub minor to a b major which is really important now let's have a closer look how to do it so we are holding a c sub minor like this the important thing is to keep your wrist down and try to make an uh, 90 degree angle between your index finger and thumb like this okay it will like this and just grip from your thumb from behind like this okay here just grip it like this okay and the important thing while changing is to just uh, move your wrist like this don't do anything just move your wrist okay suppose we are changing from a c sub minor to a b major i'll do it in fourth down strum now one like this 1 2 3 4 2 b major okay 3 4 to an a major 1 2 3 4 to a b major 2 3 4 to a c sub minor again the important thing is you do not lift your index finger okay just slide it around here in c sub minor 2 3 4 bring it back hold it tip here and Place your ring finger to press the fourth, third, and second string. This is a B major too. Three, four. You can always just bring your index finger down and just mute the sixth string and play the A major here like this, which will be lot easier to change. Three. Again, back to a B major. Just move your wrist down again. Okay, like this. Move your wrist down. It will again come into position to hold the B major. Then again, C sharp minor to one, two, three, four. Just practice this really slowly. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So the next part, I will show you how to change the chords while strumming. Okay, we'll use the same muting effect pattern here also, like down. Sorry for the background noise. Some construction work is going on. Okay, so please bear with it. Now here we are doing like this: down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And during the last two down up strums, we are changing it so that the next down strum will fall perfectly on the next chord. Like this, really slowly now: down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And we are changing down, up, down, down, up, down. Okay. Again, one second from the beginning. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. In any strumming pattern, you just use the last two down of strum to change the chords, like this. Down, down, up. It will remain muted. Okay, down. just practice this slowly okay then then gradually increase the speed like this dure jitna bhi tum mujhse paas tere main 
अब तो आदत सी है मुझको ऐसे जीने में आई गिव अ कंप्लीट प्रोग्रेशन ऑफ द सॉन्ग इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द प्रोग्रेशन इज रियली सिंपल द सेम प्रोग्रेशन इज गोइंग ऑन ऑलमोस्ट थ्रू आउट दिस सॉन्ग ओके नाउ आफ्टर प्लेइंग द फर्स्ट टू लाइंस देन अनदर पार्ट कम्स वेयर द सेकंड गिटार प्लेस लाइक दिस now let's have a closer look of how to play this one so this part of the song goes like this now put a ring finger on the third string sixth fret middle finger on second string fifth fret and index finger on first string fourth fret and play like this taps are there you can follow 3 2 3 1 3 then bring a little finger on the first string seventh fret and do a pull off keep your index finger and all this finger as it is okay one second Play twice. Three, two, three, one, three. Then pull up from one with a little finger. One second. Play twice. Then after this, move to the second fret and bar this first three strings. That is one, two, and three strings on the second fret with a index finger. And play the same pattern. Three, two, three, one. Then after this uh, part, uh, the next part will be like this. Put your little finger or ring finger on the first string, fourth fret. You can play three, two, one. Then on the fifth fret, first string, three, two, one. Then just remove all the fingers. You can play three, one. One second, this part. Three, two, three, one. Then on the fourth fret, three, two, one. Then on the fifth fret, three, two, one. Three, one. After this, again play the first part again, and second time it will change just a little bit like this. Okay, we are playing the first part again. Three, two, three, one. Then, after waiting for a few seconds, put your ring finger or little finger, which finger you are comfortable with, on the first string, fourth fret, and play an up strum on the first, second, and third string like this. again the last part after this the second line start like this chahte si hai ye teri badhi ti jaye same as before so after the second line the solo starts which goes like this tap sab there you just follow it i will try to explain it here It will start from the first string, fourth fret. Four, five, four, 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 four. Then on second string, seven, five, four, 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 four. Then play four, five, four, two. Then two, two, five slide. Then seven, five. One second, the first part from the beginning slowly. that background noise is really annoying so i'm really sorry just bear with it i cannot help it okay so the second part of the solo goes like this okay it again starts from the same position as before 4 5 4 4 4 4 then we are including a seventh note here Okay, four, five, four, 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 seven, then nine, seven, then seven to eleven slide, then slide back to nine, then on seven, play three times, then slide back to five, like this. Okay, then again slide from five to seven, then back to five, then four, then two. It ends here. One second from the beginning, the second part.
so this completes the lesson the whole lesson i can say so this is a really long lesson so if you are watching it till the end then you will definitely learn something so do like subscribe and share and i'll see you next in the next video so thank you for watching keep playing